Welcome back to another episode of Pop-Up Tech Talks. I'm your host, Mike Turner, here at NetApp Insight 2017. I have, is it Chris or Christopher? Chris is fine. Chris, Chris. I have Chris here with me. Please introduce yourself. I'm Chris Olson. Yeah. I work for Los Alamos National Laboratory. I'm a solution architect there. Awesome. Great. So we were having a brief conversation here about Hadoop, all the really cool things people are actually putting real workloads and solving real challenges with it. Tell me more. Well, so we're primarily a scientific organization. We've got folks doing all sorts of interesting things, some of which I can't talk about, and a lot of which I can talk about. Uh, but one of the things that we're working with is folks sort of dealing with not the big data, but like medium data analytics to, to do real world things. Uh, one of which we've got a, a guy we're working with and he's indexing ser Google search uh, records for people seeing if they've got you know, flu symptoms, what's going on, um, and he's using that to sort of correlate uh, where flu outbreaks might be happening, uh, sharing some of that information with the CDC. And uh, so yeah, it's a, it's a really promising use of data uh, in, in a way, I mean, similar to what we saw in the, in the keynote this morning, just, you know, real world like, wow, hey, this matters. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's neat stuff. And we're, we're here looking a little bit at Hadoop as a possible repository for some of that kind of thing. Um, but, yeah, we've been using just large data stores up until now. But uh, as, as our customers' needs evolve, we try to evolve to meet those. Definitely. It's saving the world with data, literally. Um, <laughs> where can people learn more about Hadoop and how to actually get started using it? Um, well, so actually, so we've met some really great people here at Insight, um, and uh, Jamal, and I've already forgotten his last name, Badai, I think. Put in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so he's uh, he's done a lot of, I mean, the, the stuff he described in our just brief talk with him has been great. So, And we've been just doing a lot of research on our own, and I'm hoping to learn more while we're here. Fantastic. All right, one more question before I let you go. If you had the choice, would you rather be Batman or Superman? Uh, Batman for the cave. Definitely the cave. <laughs> Who doesn't want their own bat cave? He can't go with that. Well, thanks for being on the show. Thanks for watching another episode of Pop-Up Tech Talks. We will see you soon.